Toyota is failing us with the Tacoma and they have been for years. Well, good afternoon, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here, and that's right. Toyota is failing us with the Toyota Tacoma, and they have been for years. Now, first of all, let me say, let's get this out of the way right away. I do love the Toyota Tacoma, right? I mean, I've had six of them. I wouldn't keep buying them if I didn't love them. But in the back of my mind, I start to wonder, is Toyota really failing us when it comes to the Tacoma? Now, what am I talking about, right? Well, you know, Toyota is very, very slow to make changes, right? And the theory out there is that Toyota does that because they want a reliable truck. They want something that isn't going to have failures, and they use true and tried and tested functions and features and accessories that have been around for years. Now, there is some credence to that. I mean, if you keep using the same thing that's been used forever, it's probably been perfected to a point where it's pretty darn reliable, right? But does that mean you should? And I think times have changed and I think buyers have changed. You know, I think there was a time when most buyers out there were only concerned about that. Heck, you could have given them a horse and buggy, and as long as the horse always saddled up or hitched up, I'm not a, I'm not a horse guy, but as long as it was able to be attached to that carriage and took you where you wanted to go, that would have been enough for them. But I think buyers today are demanding more, and that's because technology has changed. You know, we want to be connected to everything, and we want to do that in our vehicles too, and we want it to work well. You know, I think the previous generation didn't care so much about that. You know, reliability was key and that's all that really mattered. Now, the market has also shaped that a little bit, right? The other manufacturers out there have gone more flash, more tech. They put all kinds of stuff in their vehicles from a connectivity standpoint to a power standpoint, fuel economy. They've just, they've done all these things while Toyota, meanwhile, has just kept banging out the same third generation Tacoma for years. Now, it's no more apparent than the manual transmission. You know, Toyota has a manual transmission still, one of the few that put a manual transmission in, the, in their trucks, you know. But it's the same as well. It hasn't been improved. It's clunky. It's rattly. It works. It gets you where you're going. And again, I know a lot of people out there will say, well, it's a truck, it's supposed to be that way. What? No, I, I completely disagree with that. There is no reason why Toyota couldn't have a nice, smooth, responsive, well-mated manual transmission in their trucks. I mean, if you're gonna do it, do it right. But Toyota doesn't seem to do that. They fail us when it comes to the manual transmission in the Tacoma. They haven't kept up, they haven't improved it. It's just the same as it was 10 years ago, and it's a shame. They failed us with the manual transmission in the Toyota Tacoma. Now, I would say there's less demand for it, and ultimately, they're probably gonna do away with it anyway, so why dump a bunch of money into a product or a feature in your vehicle that you know is dying and going away. It all comes down to the bottom line anyway, right? And that is their whole motivation, in my opinion, behind all of this. Why Toyota is failing us with the Toyota Tacoma. If you think their main motivation is to have a vehicle out there so that you think it's reliable, then you are mistaken. Their motivation is to make money. That's what businesses do, right? Now, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't have any problems with that, right? Because if a business couldn't make money, they wouldn't build the truck that I love. However, there's a fine line. And if you don't walk that fine line correctly, you're gonna lose market share. And eventually others like me and maybe you are gonna start to look elsewhere. You know, you're gonna start to look into these trucks that have all the little bells and whistles that you want. Maybe even if you have to give up a little bit of dependability and reliability. Now, why do I say that? People buy them. 
I mean, I buy them. I've got a Jeep Wrangler sitting right there. I've got a Jeep Gladiator out front. They're not the most reliable vehicle in the world, but I love them. They're awesome. They're fun to drive. They give me all the tech. They're powerful. They're responsive. And it just enhances my driving experience, even though it's a truck in the case of the Jeep Gladiator. Because you see, I'm from the generation now where I want everything. I want it all. Just having a truck that is reliable, but gutless, lacking features, maybe it won't look good, who knows what they'll do with the fourth gen Tacoma, isn't enough anymore. We're spoiled. We want more than that. I want more than that. So I believe Toyota is failing us when they come to the Toyota Tacoma because they're too slow to react. You know, the fourth gen is coming sometime. You know, the Tundra, they're supposed to be coming out with a redesigned Tundra, right? Rumors were 2020, 21, 2021, 2022 now. Who knows? I don't hear anything about it anymore. Where did it go? Now, I know the current world situation doesn't help. And maybe that has something to do with it. But look how long they've taken to get to even the rumor stage. It's been forever. I hope that when Toyota finally gets around to redesigning the Tacoma, you know, currently the number one selling truck, mid-sized truck out there, that they get it right. That they give us the things that we want. They need to walk that fine line. They can make their profit. But don't shortchange us. Don't fail us with the next generation Tacoma. Put the stuff in it that's important to people. I get a lot of comments on this channel. And I would think in this day and age that Toyota pays attention to social media, right? It's a free way to kind of survey your audience. Because a lot of people tell you what they want, right? And I'm not talking about, you know, the outlayers, the extremists that say you should put a V12 in the Tacoma. Well, obviously that's not reasonable. That's not going to happen. And how many people are going to pay $350,000 for a Toyota Tacoma? Probably not many. But you take that body of, of information out there and you categorize it and you rank it. I mean, if half a million people are saying that they want X in their Tacoma, then you probably ought to perk up and pay attention because obviously it's important. I think the worst thing that could happen is if Toyota comes out with a fugly truck, I mentioned that in a previous video, that has no power or less power than what we have now, that would be a, that'd be a killer for me. Um, and didn't give us the things that we want, they would lose market share and maybe the Toyota Tacoma is not number one anymore. I'd hate to see that happen because I do love this truck. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Has Toyota been failing us when it comes to the Toyota Tacoma? Is it time for them to maybe tweak that business model a little bit and give us more of the things that we want in addition to quality and reliability? I think so. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It's about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator sitting right out there. That channel is Rob Motive JT. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.